Larry Ellison was born on the 17th of August 1944 in New York City to a single mother at the age of nine months. The little infant contracted pneumonia which made his mother ship him off to Chicago to be adopted by her aunt. Larry grew up in the middle class neighborhood and was well taken care of by his adoptive mother. On the contrary, his adoptive father was never supportive and didn't relate intimately with him at all. Larry attended the University of Illinois but didn't graduate. Two years into college, he dropped out due to his adoptive mother's death. He was on the verge of sitting for his final exams for that particular year when the incident occurred. In 1966, after gaining knowledge of computer design, Larry moved to Berkeley, California. With the skill he had acquired in computer and software design, Larry went about seeking employment. For about four years, the man couldn't lay his hands on any job, despite his huge efforts. Although there were other menial jobs he could have gotten, but he never wanted to underdevelop his mind by settling for less. He knew he could achieve something better. Just as he had envisioned, Larry got employed at Ampex Corporation. He was assigned to handle a project which he named Oracle. After working for a while, Larry wasn't comfortable as an employee anymore. He wanted to have his own establishment. After he had struggled to generate a significant amount of money, he believed it was time to take the bold step. In the year 1977, Larry with two partners founded a company, Software Development Laboratories SDL. The first few years of the business in operation, Larry and his partners were confronted with a series of organizational problems. Their products weren't thriving and the company was losing money, almost resulting in bankruptcy. Larry knew the existence of his company was weakening and he must do something to remedy the situation. With help from investors and the board, Larry was able to re-strategize in ensuring that the company stands. A few years later, the company started thriving. It was renamed from Software Development Laboratories to Oracle Corporations. Larry as a co-founder was pleased with what he had achieved as the company began to realize tens of millions of dollars annually. Within the space of a decade, Oracle Corporations made Larry a billionaire. As of 2019, Forbes magazine enlisted Larry Ellison amongst the top 10 wealthiest persons in the United States. To this day, he's still one of the richest men in the world, despite his great philanthropic work. There would always be times when nothing seems to work out, compelling you to settle for something less. However, that is the time you need to keep pressing on. Daniel Steele said, never settle for less than your dreams. Somewhere, sometime, someday, somehow, you will find them. Just because it's taken a long time for you to achieve greatness doesn't mean you aren't destined to be great. Big things take time before they happen. You mustn't opt in for smaller things because the larger ones are not in sight yet. Mandy Hale said, when you refuse to settle for less than the best, the best tends to track you down. Most people don't have the patience required to wait. Because of this, they go for little things instead of waiting for their dreams. Don't settle for small, because the big takes time. Maureen Dowd said, The minute you settle for less than you deserve, you get even less than you settled for.